Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 lessons. In the previous lesson, we started talking about Bridge and we looked at the workspace and the interface. In Bridge 2 here, we're going to look at the preferences briefly, the menu bar briefly, and then we're going to deal with importing, editing, rating, and filtering your images. Filtering meaning getting the best image highlighted so you can easily access it in Bridge. So let's get started. I want to do one quick thing. Got that set. Let's go File, Browse in Bridge. I'm already in a folder with a cool shot I took in Death Valley. Check this. This actually happened. This raven flew in and dropped down on this dead tree in this desolate shot. Just the nice touch. This is not a Hollywood prop. He really got in there and I caught it. Really proud of that one. Okay, let's go up to the top in a Mac. Go to Adobe Bridge, Preferences. In a PC, go to your Edit menu down to the bottom to Preferences, and we'll pull up the Preferences box. Go to your General tab. Appearance, we talked about the last time, how you can adjust your interface, and you can independently adjust the background tonality as well, kind of cool, or the accent color for the buttons, or the highlighted surround on the thumbnails. Under Behavior, if you're going to use Bridge as your primary editing program and you're going to download your images from Bridge, go ahead and check this box. When a camera is connected, it will automatically launch Adobe Photo Downloader. Um, Double-click edits camera raw settings in Bridge unnecessary if you um, Double click, it opens in the camera raw anyway. Favorite items on the bottom here. By default, these are all selected. If there are any that you don't want to be in the favorites panel, favorites being frequently accessed items. I frequently access the computer, that, the desktop, not so much documents, pictures I can actually take away because I don't use that particular folder. Documents, I don't store anything in there either. So now I've customized that. The only other one we need to de deal with is metadata. You'll see there is just a ton of material that's in metadata that's stored in your image. And all of the checked boxes are information that is usable. The only one that I really suggest you do, these by default are not checked. I would check the author copyright and copyright info URL under the IPTC legacy panel. If that's a good idea that will embed when you fill that in in the metadata. We'll talk about that in the next lesson. When you fill that in, it's embedded in your image. Good idea. Okay. Click OK. We're done with that. So 